I'm standing here on Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., right in front of the White House, of course, the residence of the President of the United States. One of the reasons that we're here today is because the five living U.S. presidents are all going to be together this week down in Dallas, Texas. It's one of those rare occasions when this happens. Uh, the reason for this, George W. Bush is going to be dedicating his presidential library there in Dallas on the campus of SMU. Good time to look back at how George W. Bush did while he was in office. Now, how history is going to judge George W. Bush, we're going to have to wait and see. While he was in office, his average job approval rating was 49 percent. Now, that's across all eight years of his term. The average for all presidents that we have measured throughout history since Roosevelt was 54 percent. So Bush overall was below average. But and I think this is what's going to play out at his library. Bush's presidency was marked by highs and lows, some real extremes. Look there in front of you. His average for his first term was 62 percent, George W. Bush's. Of those presidents that are going to be there, did some do better than Bush, some worse? Well, of course, yes. Uh, for those Freudian analysts among you, the president who did best of those five living presidents was Bush's father, George H.W. Bush. He was in the White House behind me and averaged a very, very good 61 percent. However, the problem for Bush H.W., that is Bush Sr., was that his job approval rating really plummeted in the last year in office. And of course, he lost his reelection bid to Bill Clinton. Speaking of Bill Clinton, his average while in office was, you see it there, 55 percent, about average for all presidents. He did worse in his first term, better in his second term, when the economy and the dot-com boom was really going up. Although he was impeached, didn't seem to matter. Job approval ratings were high for Bill Clinton while he was in his second term. Finally, there's Jimmy Carter. Well, his job approval rating was the lowest of those five presidents. He averaged 46 percent while in office. And, of course, Carter was defeated when he ran for re-election against Ronald Reagan in 1980. Speaking of highs and lows, let me just show them to you specifically. Bush had 90 percent highest job approval rating in Gallup poll history in September of 2001. But look what happened in his second term. George W. Bush had a low of 25 percent right around when the election was held in 2008. And that's one of the lowest in Gallup poll history. So again, these highs and lows for George W. Bush kind of exemplify his presidency. And that's why his library will be very interesting to look at for those of you who are able to visit because history has looked at Bush in several different ways with his very complex presidency when he was in office from 2001 through January of 2009. Here on Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House in Washington, I'm Frank Newport, Gallup Editor-in-Chief.